Dead puppy. Do you ever get sad? Not really. Why? I don't know. I'm feeling like bummed out lately for no reason at all. No reason at all? Dead puppy? No, no reason. Hmm. You know when this started? I don't know, maybe like March? Like right around when we started this pet cemetery gig? That's it right there. It's these early hours. You're not getting that good sleep. You're not getting that good REM sleep. Dead puppy? Yeah, I mean, I do get cranky when I don't get my eight hours, but it's been months now. I should be adjusted to it, you know? Yeah. I'm reading this great book called The Happiness Blueprint, and it says the best thing to do is to let go of the past and focus on what's right here, right now, right in front of you. Oh my God, that's it. It's my ex-boyfriend. He has this new 21-year-old dancer girlfriend. I've been dwelling on it so much, it's destructive. Yeah, but it's never just one thing, Maggie. It's like in this modern age, it's so easy to feel depressed. There are so many triggers, dead puppy. It's like, think about Facebook. It's like the algorithm for Facebook is designed to make you feel shitty about your life, dead puppy. It's like you go on there and all you see is like, New jobs, engagements, babies, dead puppy. It's like, when is some cool stuff gonna start happening to me, you know? You are so right. You know what you should do? What? You should cut out all social media whatsoever. Oh, cut it all out completely, because I know you're stalking your ex-boyfriend. You are. I promise it'll make you feel better. Soon, you'll be asking yourself, what was I so upset about in the first place? Dead puppy. Hey, Maggie, this one doesn't have a head. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. I'll find it's it. It's okay. I can't find the head. Hey, you crying? You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, what is this even about, you know? You're putting too much pressure on yourself, Maggie. We all mess up at work. We spill coffee, we misplace our keys, we lose puppy heads. It's not a big deal. I you know, it's just like having a job like this. It feels like high school, you know? It's like I need to get an A plus in every element of my life and I'm getting like a C minus tops. Life isn't graded on a curve, Maggie. You have a great life. <laughs> you have a wonderful family. You have great friends. You have a wonderful job at a pet cemetery burying dead baby animals with full health and dental benefits. You gotta give yourself more credit, kid. <sighs> dead puppy. Thanks, Graham. You're a really good friend. I try. I just hate to see someone with such a blessed life feeling down on themselves for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Dead puppy. <laughs> the last of them. So should we um bury the dead kittens or break for lunch? I'm feeling awfully hungry. You go on ahead. I think it's best I just pour myself into work right now. That's a great idea. I'm proud of you. See you after break. Yeah. I'll see you after break. Okay.